my name is Denise Steele. I've been married to my wonderful husband Jim for the past three years and I'm I've been attending Harbour for four years. I was raised the youngest of six children in a loving Catholic home. As I grew to be an adult, I found myself growing farther and farther away from what could be described as living a life of faith. I got busy with a demanding career. In my early 30s, I met a woman named Joanne. I noticed that Joanne had a quality about her. There was this peace and joy about her. I loved it and I wanted it. However, I had heard through mutual friends that Joanne was this born-again Christian and oh dear, I didn't think I wanted to be one of those. One day I was visiting my late husband's family and found a book in a bookcase. I could not put that book down. I felt as though I was sitting in God's lap and he was reading it to me. I contacted the church listed at the back of the book to ask if there might be a church in my area that would build on the message in this book. They gave me the name of an affiliated church and when I walked in the door, who was there to greet me but my friend Joanne. And so began my journey. That was 20 years ago. I set out attending that church regularly, joining a small group, reading the Bible and doing everything else I could to learn about God. But I realized that I already knew who God was and I still wasn't finding that peace and joy I was looking for. Even though I always knew about God, I did not know God for myself and I did not know who I was in God. Although many times I had felt God's presence in my life, I knew he was there during the lowest and most difficult times and I knew he was always responsible for all the good things in my life because I knew who God was. It wasn't until I accepted Christ as my personal Savior and the Holy Spirit entered my heart that I finally understood the inexplicable love that God has for me and the grace and mercy that he showed me, giving up his only son to die on the cross for me and my sins so that I may be forgiven. I recently read somewhere that baptism is an outward symbol of an inward change. I'm here today to share that change, a transformation in my heart. My heart has been forever changed from a living a life that pleases myself to striving to live a life that pleases God. The peace that has been placed in my heart is not a peace wherein I have no struggles and life is perfect and easy. No, it's far deeper than that. It's a peace I feel even when life isn't perfect and I struggle. I'm being baptized today not because I have finally arrived and I'm finally good enough, because I could never be good enough to, to, to deserve what God has done for me. I finally know and feel God's tremendous grace and mercy. We are called to be baptized. Acts 22:16 says, And now, what are you waiting for? Get up, be baptized. I am here as an act of obedience to God. As I continue to grow in my faith, I rest in the fact that I have accepted God's love for me. I have accepted his forgiveness and his grace, and I am thankful for salvation. God has a plan for me. He is transforming me daily, and he continues to lead me to live his purpose for me. My hope lies in him alone, to continue to guide me through a life of faith and obedience lived for the sole purpose of honoring Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior.